Hello! Welcome to Zim Capture. I'm Inventor Dan Zen, and Zim at ZimJS.com is an open source framework to make interactive media on the HTML canvas using JavaScript and CreateJS. In this capture, we're going to take a look at custom shapes, so we can draw our own shapes. Let's take a look at some code. Okay, a shape looks like this. New Zim dot shape like so. And we can add in a width and a height there. As a matter of fact, that's usually a good thing. Um, well, we'll add it in now. So that's a new Zim shape. And let's store this in a variable. Bar shape is equal to. Great. Now it's the shape's graphic property. And that's what we make shapes in. Okay, so it looks like this. Uh, shape dot graphics. There's the property dot say we can begin a fill begin fill and give it a color red and then we can say shape dot graphics dot draw rect and uh, we can make it zero comma zero comma three hundred comma two hundred Now we already have some shapes made, and that being a rectangle, a triangle, and a circle in Zim that are doing really this, this thing right now, but you can see that it's, yeah, it's a bit of work to make a rectangle. Zim.rectangle is faster. Uh, however, we're making a rectangle here. Let's add it to the stage. So we'll center this on the stage. Shape.center on stage. And let's take a look. Control W. There it is. So we've got a red rectangle centered on the stage. Does that look centered? Doesn't really look centered. The problem is this rectangle doesn't have bounds set. So when you try and center something without bounds, it just, there's the center of the stage right here. It just places the registration point, which is here for a shape. It just places it right so. So. That's not too good, so we should set bounds. Now we can set bounds like this, shape.setBounds, and basically it's the same thing here. Copy that, like so. Save that and run it, and refresh. And now it's centered on the stage. But, there's a shortcut, and that is specifying that it's 300 by 200 in here. So we can say 300 comma 200, as long as it starts at 0, 0. We save that, and refresh here, and there it's the same. Why don't we uh, change the color to blue so that we can really see that's indeed the same thing. Refresh blue, and indeed it is. Okay, now if we're going to use the numbers in two places, we should... We could go var w is equal to 300, var h is equal to 200, and then replace these things so that we don't have to uh, type them in two different places, w, h. Now we can easily change them here, and they'll change everywhere. OK, so that's a shape, and it's on its graphics that we can do things, graphics property. Uh, that it's a bit of a pain to keep on doing that. So there are some shortcuts that we can do. Uh, first of all, we could store the graphics pro a reference to the graphics property. Var g is equal to shape dot graphics. So I often do this, and then instead of all of that, we can just say g and g, and let's change that to green and save that and refresh okay yeah it's working in green yeah so the G is fine the other thing we can do is a thing called chaining so this begin fill method will return a reference to the graphics property right there so that means we don't need another graphics property we can do something like this G dot begin fill will return G so it's just like that and then we'll draw rect on G. So isn't that neat? That's called chaining. So we'll change the color to, what's another color that we have? Pink. 
And we save that and refresh here. And there's a pink rectangle now done with chaining. So that makes it a little bit nicer to work with. Okay, so what other things can we do in this shape? Well, let's go to the CreateJS documentation and take a look. So open up a new window, go to createjs.com. Oh, this is, we're right into the docs. I've got the docs bookmarked. So we press that, go backwards. Uh, here's the CreateJS main site, createjs.com. And we press easel.js and then docs. In our docs, we scroll down until we get to graphics. And there's information about it, probably what we were just doing. And here is a list of things and their shortcuts. Oh, I didn't show you the shortcuts. Did I show you the shortcuts? Shortcuts. Begin fill. Are you ready? F. Draw rect. R. So we save that and refresh here. Oh, change the color, just so you know it's really working. From pink to orange. Refresh here. Orange rectangle. Nice, huh? <clears throat> so that's even shorter. Let's see what that looks like uh, in the docs here. There's the rect, R for rect. Or indeed, we could use DR for draw rect, which I often use for some reason. And there's draw rounded rect. Rounded corners, draw round rect complex. That's rounded corners, but you can specify which corners are how much rounding or even no rounding. There's draw ellipse, draw polystar, draw circle. So we got draw circle and draw rect out of that. I think I did my own custom draw triangle, but the polystar I think draws a triangle too. Now that's custom shapes that are sort of available there. Uh, some of the neat things, though, is we can make lines, lines and curves. So we can move the pen. It's like, imagine a pen. We can move it, and that picks it up without drawing. Then we can line to a different coordinate. So we move two coordinates, like an X and Y, and we line two coordinates, X and Y. We can arc two and bezier two, and quadratic curve two. So those are curves. I'll show you that in just a sec. Um, we can begin the fill. So as you draw, it will automatically fill or have no fill and we can just do strokes but there's fills there's radial fills uh, there's linear fills and bitmap fills there's ending the fill so then we can start another fill of a different color there's strokes and and end strokes and those kinds of strokes as well and a clear and a decode path a p path which is sort of neat because if you use adobe animate it can uh, make a path for you. It's it's short. It's like compressed short and you just copy that path and all of a sudden this, you know, weird custom shape shows up. And there's the clear. So um, clear will get rid of the graphics that you're that you're looking at and then you can start more graphics. So often if we're dynamically drawing graphics, we're clearing, redrawing the graphics, clearing, redrawing the graphics, etc. Making something bigger or curvier or whatever it may be. Shall I show you? Okay, so let's pop on back. And of course, you can click on any of these and read the documentations. And this is very much like what, what is in the sort of default Canvas uh, API. And that is very much like the Flash API, which is 15 years old or something like that. We've been doing this in Flash for quite some time. All right, so popping back to the code here. Well, as a matter of fact, I, I won't show you with code. Uh, that's it for the code. Uh, there's a shape. You can uh, apply, uh, use the graphics property and apply the various methods that we just saw to, to make shapes, to draw lines and so forth. Let us go see an example of that. So we'll pop into Zim here and choose well why don't we scroll all the way down it's in a zim bit uh, we'll take a look in a zim bit i think i can spot it pretty easily there it is dynamic drawing with easing so here we have curves so those are curves and that's a line like that and watch what happens as i pick this up we're clearing the graphics and redrawing the curves based on where the mouse is 
Okay, so that is dynamic drawing, custom drawing. And you can take a look at that code and see how that's done in the view code. All right, I'm Inventor Dan Zen. Uh, we're here at a Zim Capture at zimjs.com. Have a great day.